ladies and gentlemen, today we have first impressions to do. I think I'm a little bit late on this one, but how late is too late, right? It is coming from the house of BDK, and it is Grishar now. Let's do it. What is good YouTube? Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike, Michael, Mikey Clone and if you tuned in as always people, thank you for doing so to all my subscribers. Thank you very much for the support. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. If you enjoy my content, like, comment, subscribe. If you drop a comment down below, I will always get back to you. If you have questions, if you've tried this fragrance, always drop a comment down and I will get back to you. Got that out of the way. And before I forget, right, I was given a code by Uniki Luxury a little while back, and I always forget to mention it on my videos. I don't earn no money. I don't earn nothing out of it. But this will get you 10% off if you want to use it on their website. It's Mikey-Special15, all lowercase. Put that in in the discount box when you've added your bits to your car and that will give you 10% off of your overall car. Like I said, I don't earn anything, so I'm just letting you know if you want to save a little bit of coin on that website, use that code and crack on. There you go. Right. Let's get cracking. We're going to open this. I've heard reviews on it ages ago. I don't know the notes. I don't look up the notes. I think I believe I know that there's sandalwood in this. And I think that's all I can remember. I like to do it the old school way. Crack it, smell it first, then we'll go from there. Obviously, like I say, people, drop a comment down below if you have tried this fragrance. Let's do it. As you can see, still sealed. Let's just rip it open. I own one from this brand, um, Citrus Riviera. Nice fragrance. I'm yet to, I don't think I've reviewed that yet. I'm not sure. bottle 100 ml at the perfum concentration just some additional information on the back and on the side Gris Chanel BDK Parfums Paris let's do it let's see in there well, I won't throw these boxes I keep the good boxes and I throw the not so good ones Weighty hefty cap, you've got the BDK in right in there. Nothing on the atomizer, and there is your bottle. Let's spray it, it is about the juice. They are weighty caps, there's no doubt about it. Do not be dropping one of them on your foot because you will know about it. All right, let's see what we get. Can't find that spray straight away. Nice atomizer, look at that. Pressurized, lovely atomizer. Oh, I can smell it in the air, that's good. That is good. Woody, spicy. I know some of you might think that I'm a weirdo because I go like this, but I try and get it in the air first and let the test strip calm down for a second. Got a little bit of spice, so it is quite spicy. Definitely woody. There's a little bit of sweetness to this fragrance. A little bit herbal and green. But that, it's more woodsy up front and spicy. And that green nuance and that herbal tone that I'm getting are sort of, they're there, but they're not so in your face at the minute anyway. And it has this creamy facet to it as well. This would make a great going out fragrance. Unisex, I believe, straight away. It is a little bit woody, but I think this is unisex. Because of that creamy nature and that semi-sweet or semi-sweetness that's going on, I believe that this can be worn by both sexes. Yeah, this would be great if you're going out to a formal event, gathering, party, dinner, 
this will go very, very well. It's not screaming, but it doesn't seem to be a slouch. Yeah, I like that. That is very, very nice. Definitely, I think there's vetiver in this because I'm getting this ever so slight earthy nuance like way in the back and it's reminding me of vetiver so i think like i think there's sandalwood in this but there's definitely vetiver in this i'm detecting where that greenness is coming from i do not know but it's got this fragrance has got a bit of freshness to it as well it's not like a dark dense heavy fragrance it seems like a moderate airy semi-sweet woodsy green herbal fragrance very nice very very pleasing on the nose i like that obviously it was a blind buy and i don't suggest anybody blind buying right let's look up the notes i like that that is nice i think cooler days i mean on warmer days you could wear it but Personally, I don't think at the minute, and remember this is only first impressions, I don't think I would reach for this on a scorcher of a day. Like if it's really hot outside, I don't think I would go for this. On a summer's day or a summer's evening, if it's cooler outside and the breeze is blowing, that will smell great in the air. It really will. Right, we've got cardamom, fig, black tea up top, iris, Bourbon, vetiver in the mid, sandalwood and tonka bean in the base. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I've just realised after finishing this review, I was putting all the box back together. Look what's on the front. The goddamn notes. Just goes to show how much attention I pay, especially to detail sometimes. I, did, I just thought it was gibberish writing, to be honest with you. But anyway, some of the notes are on the front. Just wanted to throw that in there. Back to the review. Right, I'm not getting no iris. At all. Not at the minute. I mean, it might come off different on skin. I'm not getting no iris. The fig and the sandalwood, I believe, giving it this creamy nature... The fig, I reckon, is also adding sweetness along with the tonka bean. The cardamom is giving this fragrance that spice. And the black tea. So you've got the fig, the cardamom and the black tea. I think they're all sort of blended together to give this fragrance that green herbal effect, so to speak. Overall, this is a solid fragrance. I would give it... Um, it is good. It really is good. I know I'm not jumping out my chair, but it is good. I would give it a solid 8.8 .8 out of 10. Solid 8.8, .8, nearly a 9. But like I say, at the minute, it only seems moderate. With a scent like this, me personally, I would like for it to be, and I don't know if it is yet, but if this is a screamer of a fragrance, it would easily be a 9 easily because this is the type of fragrance i think that you would want people to smell because it smells nice got a little bit of a classy edge but also it has a bit of a cozy edge to it as well but great great first impressions really really dig this fragrance i like say people drop a comment down below let me know if you've tried it let me know if you own it let me know what you get from the fragrance solid solid fragrance Thank you for sticking with me, people. Right. Remember, spending goods, always a pleasure and never a chore. I appreciate everybody's support and I will see you lot on the next one. Cheers.